Did you know he used to have his hair dyed blonde and we called him Frank Lotion? Why? <laughs> I don't know. Frank Ocean had like blonde hair at that time. And I think everybody went through a little blonde phase. I didn't. The lotion was more it? like he just looked a little ashy. That's like some Long Beach shit. Like what? They, oh people, my God, that's so funny. And, and like have like a little eyebrow piercing. I had an eyebrow piercing. <laughs> that's Long Beach. Shit. Ro- 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 I had, I had an eyebrow piercing. A rose, rose tattoo. But I think you're confusing like Long Beach with like meth head, which granted there's like a big overlap, but no. No, no, no. no. When, we're talking right. about a specific era like. When Pharrell and Terry Kennedy oh, yeah. came oh, to my fucking. God, my boy. Came to, came to Long Beach, bro. All the Long Beach niggas used to dye their hair, bro. You, you just made it so that I didn't have to come up with a weird segue into our next story. <laughs> yeah, you did that. That was fire. I love Terry me. Kennedy done caught a body. That's crazy. And I'm trying. I'm gonna try to not make light of this or anything because it's a fucking pr- it's very uh, another serious. skater that he killed allegedly. Um, the guy that got killed, his name is uh, Josiah Casahun, and his estate is claiming that Terry Kennedy beat the shit out of him at a Comfort Suites in Illinois on July 27th. And after in Illinois? Exactly. And after that, he did nothing to help him, allegedly. Josiah's family says that Kennedy hit Josiah, which caused him to fall to the ground and land on his head. The family goes on to say that in the docks, Kennedy kept hitting Josiah while he was on the ground, and they did not get him medical attention after he finished the attack. Kasahun's, Kasahun's family says that Josiah later died on July 31st from Bro. injuries they suffered in the altercation, <sighs> and they're saying that they are suing Terry Kennedy, and the damages exceed 50000 which is probably really not at the front of his mind. He's probably thinking about the fact that he's now facing a murder charge, and it sounds like he's probably guilty. So <clears throat> that is quite the turn of events. I will say that Terry Kennedy was hitting me up to do an interview over the past few months. My perspective from looking at his Instagram is that I didn't feel like it seemed like he was really in the right state of mind doing well. Yeah. Like uh, he seemed like he was doing better recently though. I mean, he seemed like he was doing stuff, but then he was back skating. He was like <sighs> posting stuff about, cause I was just lurking his Instagram like not that long ago. Right. There's a lot of people that seem to think that there might've been something <clears throat> weird going on between him and somebody who was managing him. Yeah. And I was looking at the comments of the person that was managing him and holy shit, they're not being kind to him right now. There's a lot of weird allegations about what am I, been going on in TK's life. Either way, I I feel the same way when like people have tried to get me like Bam Margera interviews mm-hmm. over the last like bro, year or two. You gotta do Bam, bro. Yeah, I mean that'd be cool. But Bam's bro, a legend, bro. He is a legend. Yeah, but he also looks just looks smoked out of the game. Right I don't now really want to interview somebody when they're in the midst of bad addiction and like really going through it. And the vibes I was getting from TK's page in the months leading up to this recent thing. Where just the he's not in a good spot in his life. It doesn't really. I, I don't want to like have somebody on who's blatantly fucked up or like is clearly like addicted. Do we to know something. that he was fucked up or on anything? I would personally wager money that he was not in a good place or a good state of mind in the yeah. months leading up to all this happening. And I don't know what the fuck he was doing in Illinois. But I mean, even these 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 claims I, in the documents about this, prosecutors say that Kennedy punched the guy in the head and then kicked him in the torso while he was on the ground uh well we already pretty much covered that but he might he might potentially get life and i I do want to say this is extra sad because if you were paying attention to skating in like 2010 ish era terry was like a pretty much the first black skater Mm -hmm. from the hood to go pro to really like blow the fuck up be really really good and I mean, it's just sad. Like, we we were, you know, we're not even scared, but we're paying attention to the skating. We're looking at this dude, and he's killing it. He's banging Crip in his video parts. He's pulling out his fucking sponsor check after doing a trick on a rail. We thought that was so crazy because in BMX, it's so, like, cliche. if you it? have money, you don't want anybody to know. Like, if you're getting paid good, you just kind of keep it to yourself because people are very much, like, not Jealous braggadocious and shit. and shit. Yeah, and, like... The, Terry Kennedy always just like amazing to us just because of the fact that he didn't was give a so fuck. flagrant and big ass in chains, face grills around all these rappers way before other people were doing that and shit. Like, I mean, he was what, the first to do. So he was around shit. Bam. Uh, he was around Bam too. Compton asked uh, uh, Terry. That's like, how he was introduced. Isn't to he that. not actually from Compton? And nah, they came though. up with that name just basically. That's, that's, some shit, that's some shit that you would do. That's you know, literally yeah, some Adam Adam shit. Adam shit. Oh my god! Who the fuck burped? Me, sorry. Oh my god! You can smell it. The hot dog water, yes. Yeah. No, I, I ate Louisiana fried chicken earlier. What was Wack calling me? 
Oh, he got. You, you I'm like not this. saying it. <laughs> you, want, saying you want to keep saying it? Whack called him a, a white Negro. That's my new name on the streets. <laughs> yeah, people Bro. be calling me that. <laughs> that is some shit. Like Com- Compton has AD. Like he would like says some shit. Adam would make up for sure. Like, oh wait, what's the craziest city in Los Angeles? Let's yeah. just say you're from Compton, and Compton. if it was me, I'm like this. So get to be on TV. Yeah, right. I would have said the well, same thing. Yeah, I mean, I always like. There's mad interviews where I'm like, you know AD from Compton? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, yes. But I mean, AD sounds uh, like not, like, you know, you kind of need what? something else to, like, explain that name. No, you don't. Yeah, just, like just com- AD is a little too simple. It's, As we've discussed, there's a lot of other AD. And there's AD. a lot of ads. Fuck them all. It's sad. <laughs> it's no, AD. No, it's not as sad. Hey, never mind. I ain't going to say it. Ooh, I'm talking to y'all. Okay, Ooh, you were going to get spicy with us? No, I wasn't about to get spicy. Why are you censoring us? You're afraid of getting the baby? No, just know that something, that something from the heavens then presented itself, and I have a potential to get them. And the no jumper fans know what I'm talking about. But I'm not trying to put nobody on. The are radar. you bringing ba- Bago back to life? Um, something like that. Bago! Bago! <laughs> God damn it. Hey, speaking of Bam Margera, you know he said he's going to do his own movie to go against the new Jackass movie? He's drunk as hell just making shit up. As far <laughs> yeah. as no, but he was like asking everybody for like a dollar or something for funding. Yeah, exactly. That is what a drunk ass crazy broke person would do if they were pissed off about getting kicked off. Because, yo, they tried to have him in the fucking new Jackass. Like, I, how do you I know that? I him to be in there. How do man. you know that, Adam? Were I, you there? I watched a bunch of YouTube videos while I was high as hell at like midnight and... Uh, I've now forgotten most of the contents of those videos, but they convinced me that Bam is tweaking. Did you see the trailer? No. I, saw I loved it. They just all just look so old. And Nigga, like, they are old. They said they said in the trailer, what, uh, uh, Johnny Knoxville's 49 or something? Right. Yeah. Like, nigga, you should not be putting your body through this anymore. Yes, some, you should. For the entertainment like, of the people. Steve will do it around to just, like, do the crazy shit that they can't do, you know? I don't even, like... They should have got Steve Will Do It, bro. I'm going to be honest. Like, hearing the theme song was very nostalgic. And I was like, damn, like, I might be down to watch this. But then at the same time, I'm like, have I outgrown this humor? I think I've outgrown it. Because what was the last uh, Jackass movie? It was like Jackass 3. It was like 10 years ago, right? It It was funny. That shit was stupid as fuck. (laughs) But it was 3D, though. I didn't like it. And I'm somebody who, when I was 14 and I found out about CKY, which I found. Whoa! What? You said the first thing. That was a joke, though. Okay. Wait, what? He's, he's trying to do uh, yeah, yeah. You know what he's saying? <laughs> Look at me. I'm a crip. You can't say she can around me. It's a thing. Ha ha. Okay. Uh, when I was 14, Jackass comes on TV. We freaked the fuck out. This you is amazing. You were 14 in what? Ni- 1998. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And then we find out <laughs> that there was already an existing VHS series called CKY, and that's what they based Jackass on. What was, what was that? It was just like a video series of Bam and his friends, but it was like... Wow. The, so they had this like VHS series, basically, that they were doing of like skate slash craziness videos, whatever, and it was pretty popular in skating. So basically, they, they colonized the idea No, it was their own Bam. idea. They brought it to MTV. They got a show. MTV said, okay, we want to bring like more professional talent on so they bring on Johnny Knoxville who's an actual stunt man and then they build Jackass which was basically like a more sanitized version of CKY that would work on TV. But it now, blows the fuck up. But now Bam Margera is not even involved in it. And and he it technically was, created it. He technically, it was from his idea. It was from his fucking brain. And God the, damn it. That's fucked up. It's the world man. It is but I mean when we found out about that shit when I was 14 we thought that was the funniest thing that existed on earth. Imagine oh, being white from New Hampshire. You're going to put him in a shopping cart and push it really fast across a parking line, and then you're going to fly into a bush? I wanted to do all types of shit like that when, when I used to see that. I shit. did not want to hurt myself, so I didn't want to do it, but I would watch Bro, it. My, yeah. my dad, when we seen the first movie, took us to Target. And had us push him into like balls and stuff, bro. And your dad, dad? I swear to God, your dad was that influenced by Jackass. Y- yeah, and we thought that shit was the world. I back feel then. like this explains a lot about how you were <laughs> yeah. born and raised. You told another crazy story about my dad was over it from day one when I was a yeah. kid. Like he wasn't on no funny shit. No, this was the do some crazy. This is shit. the worst. Like he pushed me into the stuff, and we thought we got a kick out of that. Wow. Your dad wanted. Your dad got in the cart and wanted you guys to push him. 
No, like we went to Target and he's like pushed me into like the ball things or do no some shit like that. Way. Is that why you masturbate in the parking lot of the Home Depot? <laughs> no, I do not. Stop Is your dad saying that. <laughs> Every time somebody thinks of Home Depot now, they hit me up. They be like, Is this you? I'm like, What the fuck, Adam? God damn it. Can somebody please yeah. tweet the clip? Oh my tweet God. the clip from that episode at me so that I can review it and make a, what a decision. Episode? You already did this and they said that I didn't say that. <laughs> Here we go again, going back to old time. Circling, Circling back again. Circling the Home Depot. 